Good evening, Tiffin, and welcome to another broadcast of WHEI News Center 10, live at 5. Tonight's program is brought to you by the Department of Communication and Media from inside the Media Communication Center at Heidelberg University. News Center 10, live at 5, is your number one campus source for bringing you the latest news around the state, around Tiffin, and around the Berg. Be sure to stay tuned in as well tonight for a social spot as we check the pulse of Berg students and find out what they're thinking about on the hottest topics. Coming up, an OSU professor is working on a credit card that can fool thieves. And also, a Heidelberg student helps raise $100,000. This In social, we'll check out today's top trends. And in sports, we have the latest updates. Don't touch that remote. WHEI New Center 10 Live at 5 starts now. Good evening, Tiffin, and welcome to WHEI New Center 10, live at 5 for Thursday, October 16th, 2014. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Stacy. Let's get to our first story of the night. Instead of going on vacation for retirement, Kathleen Purdy is looking to have a place on the State Board of Education. 61-year-old Purdy has 33 years of teaching experience, 25 of which she spent in plain local schools. According to the Beacon Journal, Kathleen already works part-time with the Stark County Board of Elections and hopes to represent voters in a 13-county area. Purdy says she's running to be on the board because she has a passion for creating student success stories and that she understands the importance of addressing critical issues like teacher evaluations and school funding. Do you remember when we only carried cash? Do you remember when we started only relying on credit cards? Well, since the national credit card breach that struck retail outlets and citizens alike, Ohio State University's Paul Berger is working to make sure that never happens again. Berger is a computer and electrical engineering professor whose wife, along with millions of others, just had to have her credit card replaced due to theft. Stating that there is absolutely zero protection against credit card theft, Berger is working with a special team in Finland to combat this problem by putting an encryption program in the hardware of credit cards, making it harder to hack into. Projected to be fully functional in five years, this new credit card will enhance feeling of security and will surely thwart any attempts at theft. An elementary school in Akron has begun evacuating in concern of the recent Ebola case. Summit County Health Department notified Akron administrators earlier this morning that a mother may have come in contact with a nurse who tested positive for Ebola. Resnick Elementary School in West Akron made an all-call to parents and sent home a letter detailing the events. While the mother and child did not come into contact directly with Amber Vinson, the nurse who treated an Ebola patient in Dallas, they have been quarantined until further notice. New evidence has surfaced against Sean Ford Jr. Involving the double homicide case of a new Franklin attorney and his wife, suspect Sean Ford Jr.'s defense was dealt another blow when forensic experts from the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation discovered that Ford's shoe tested positive for the victim's blood. The daughter of the victim's blood was also found on Ford's shoes after he had recently been accused of assaulting her earlier in the week. The DNA on the shoes, in addition to other items, have given cause for the prosecutors to request the death penalty from the jury if Ford is found guilty. That wraps up our local news segment for the day. But don't go anywhere because we'll have your biggest campus stories on the other side of these short messages. And you're watching WHEI on TV 10. Student programming from the Media Communication Center at Heidelberg University. In the heart of Heidelberg's campus lies the Fireside Cafe and Pub, featuring a relaxing and engaging space. Welcome to the 
Fireside's menu includes sandwiches, salads, wraps, desserts, and even a soothing latte or coffee, offering a wide selection of exciting new food options. Fireside Cafe Pub also serves a variety of refreshing drinks to accompany its cozy atmosphere. Come experience Fireside's new fall menu and visit us on Instagram at Berg Dining Services. Hello, my name is Cameron Jernigan. I'm the current president of the Culture and Spiritual Club. I would encourage everyone to join Culture and Spiritual Club because it's a learning experience. When you come to Heidelberg for one thing and that's to learn, I feel like it's a great way to get out there to learn about other cultures and bring us all together. Unity is one thing the school preaches and you'll definitely get that. So if any of this has uh, sparked your interest, I encourage you to come out. Our meetings are at 615 on Monday in Campus Center 225. Welcome back to New Center 10 Live at 5. Let's get started on our Heidelberg Campus News segment. Heidelberg student Maria Gerber has been part of a group that has raised over $100,000 towards juvenile cancer research. The group is located in Fremont, Ohio, just north of Tiffin on Route 53. I would like to tell you guys something the Fremont Speedway did this year. We raised $100,000 with the Jeff Gordon Foundation towards childhood cancer research. We did this through the Kick It Foundation. What we did is we held an event where um, drivers and a bunch of people from the Fremont community were able to participate in a kickball tournament. And through that, the Jeff Gordon Foundation matched us dollar per dollar, and we reached our goal of $100,000. Maria is also a resident of Clyde, Ohio, which is located east of Fremont, Ohio. Clyde, Ohio is known to be a cancer cluster due to all the juvenile cancer cases that, have had, that they have had in such a short time. Maria also expressed that with her residency in Clyde, Ohio, it meant that much more to her to raise the money for childhood cancer. If you have not nominated a senior of the month, be sure to do so. You can nominate a senior by going to the news and events page on the Heidelberg website. All you have to do is provide the senior's name, email, major, hometown, reason for nominating, and your name. For the month of September, the senior of the month went to Hannah Longhiggins. A piece of advice that Hannah offers for underclassmen is, don't be afraid to get outside of your comfort zone and take risks. She goes on to say that you will never grow if you don't push yourself and that Heidelberg is an encouraging place to do that. Just a reminder that fall break starts tomorrow after classes end. Heidelberg offers a shuttle at 3 p.m. to the Columbus, Cleveland, Toledo, and Detroit airports. There is a $25 fee for a round trip on the shuttle. Residence halls will close at 4.30 p.m. to those who have not applied to stay on campus for fall break. Herneman and Fireside will have schedules up at the doors when the hour, with the hours in which they will be open. So Elizabeth, break, fall break, you going home? Yeah, I'm going home for the weekend. I'm going down to the Renaissance okay. Festival. It's the last weekend for that. It's not too far from my hometown. Okay. And I have a doctor's appointment, but so why not? I mean, Just junk it all yeah, together. Make junk it, it all together while I'm home and make the best out of a long weekend. Might as well. That's all we have for Berg's Campus News today. We'll get into the latest news and stories from the social media world next. News Center 10, Live at 5. We'll be right back. You're watching WHEI TV 10. Student programming from the Media Communication Center at Heidelberg University. The School of Music and Theater presents Avenue Q in Gunlock Theater, October 23rd through the 25th at 8 p.m. and October 26th at 2 p.m. Humans and puppets interact in this tale of 20-somethings learning how to live and love in New York City. Think Sesame Street with adult themes, humor, and song. For more information, go to facebook.com backslash Heidelberg Theater. 
In the heart of Heidelberg's campus lies the Fireside Cafe and Pub, featuring a relaxing and engaging space welcome to the public. Fireside's menu includes sandwiches, salads, wraps, desserts, and even a soothing latte or coffee, offering a wide selection of exciting new and wholesome food options. Fireside Cafe Pub also serves a variety of refreshing drinks to accompany its cozy atmosphere. Come experience Fireside's new fall menu and visit us on Instagram at Berg Dining Services. Parents sure have their hands full, and they could use an extra hand. Now, every state offers free or low-cost health insurance for your sports hero or budding artist. Kids up to age 19 can get checkups, doctor and dentist visits, hospital care, prescriptions, and more. Your child may qualify based on your family size and income. Call or go on information. Hello and welcome to our Social Spotlight segment. Let's check out what's trending today in the world of social media. Demi Lovato is officially off the market. During a concert Saturday, a young fan named Grant popped the question. Lovato initially invited him on stage after spotting a sign that read, Demi, I have a ring for you. Before the Neon Lights lead singer could give Grant an answer, Demi had to coach him on how the proper ways to propose. She answered to his heartwarming proposal with an I will as the crowd cheered for the adorable couple. That's all we have for the social media segment. Let's send it back over to Stacey and Elizabeth at the desk. Thanks, Margaret. That is so cute. Um, I actually read an article that he was like five or six oh, really? years old. Like he was real little and so it was really cute. Okay, yes. At first I thought it was serious and then as the story progressed, you know, she invited him on stage and he had a sign. So I figured, you know, that they hadn't been having an ongoing relationship. No. Which is I, good seeing as I'm pretty sure old. it was like a very young child, like so a five good. or six year old kid. I could be wrong, but it was, it no, was not a serious right. thing. Yeah. It's time to throw it over to Allie to take a look at today's top sports stories. My name is Zane Ashball. On Tuesday, the Heidelberg volleyball team lost a thrilling five-set match to John Carroll on Dig Pink Night in Cyberland Gymnasium. In the first set, the Bird came back from a 7-2 deficit with a 9-2 run as it went back and forth until Heidelberg closed out with a 9-4 run. JCU cruised to a win in the second set, 25-20. Heidelberg trailed in the third set but were able to tie it up at 16 with a handful of kills. They took the set. A few errors in the fourth set made it difficult for the Berg to close out the game as JCU took the fourth set. Heidelberg was down 12 to 6 after the start of the fifth set. The Berg was able to tie up the set, but could not finish strong enough for the game. A tough test awaits the student princes on Saturday as the 21-1 Purple Raiders of Mount Union travel to Tiffin. The match is scheduled for a 4 p.m. start. Because of the long weekend, here is the weekend schedule. On Friday, October 17th, the men's and women's cross-country teams are on the road in Wilmington, Ohio, for the Jenna Strong Invitational. On Saturday, October 18th at 1.30 p.m., the football team will be on the road at Mount Union. At 2 p.m., the soccer team will host Mount Union. At 4 p.m., the volleyball team also hosts Mountain Union. And at 7 p.m., the women's soccer are on the road at Mountain Union. For Tuesday, October 21st at 4 p.m., the women's soccer team will host Ohio Northern for Heidelberg's Breast Cancer Awareness Day game. Then at 7 p.m., the volleyball team will be on the road at no Ohio Northern. Good luck to all of our Berg sports over the long weekend. That's all we have today for your Heidelberg Sports Report. Let's send it back to Stacy and Elizabeth. Thanks, Allie. Wow, what a loaded weekend for sports. I mean, even, you know, with the game on Tuesday, it's pretty, you know, it's not as loaded as it was for, you know, homecoming last week. But there's a lot of sports, a lot of Mount Union, some Ohio yeah. Northern mixed in. But I think we'll do okay. We have a pretty solid set of teams this year. So. Yeah, we do. Uh, yeah. So many of our teams are doing so well, and hopefully we can keep that doing well. Going this Keep weekend. that streak going, Keep yeah, streak for going. sure. Thank you. Definitely. When we return, a new device has been released by a famous rapper. Toby Minster. You're watching WHEI TV 10. Student programming from the Media Communication Center at Heidelberg University. Hi, 
My name is Oshie Gray, and I just love California raisins. At our house, we eat California raisins on our cereal, out of hand for lunch, and as an after-school snack. And good health starts with good nutrition. What better way than with all-natural California raisins? They're fat and cholesterol-free, low in sodium, with no added sugar. Of all the musicals hatched in the post-2000 age, Avenue Q has remained the freshest and funniest. Avenue Q is still one of the hippest theatrical destinations. The Tony Award-winning musical remains as sharp and funny as ever. Winner of the Tony Triple Crown. Best book, best score, and best musical. We hope to see you on Avenue Q. Going to school pregnant, riding the bus, that was hard. You just have all the stares and you have all the questions. When you get pregnant, all the stuff just goes through your mind. Abortion, adoption, keeping him. When you're 15 and pregnant, you can't do it without support. I wanted to give him a better life. I'm Miranda and I chose adoption. It's time to get to our final story of the evening. Will I Am, the popular American rapper, songwriter, and entrepreneur, has launched his very own smartwatch called Pulse. Pulse is considered to be a breakthrough product in the wearable devices category and will be available exclusively through AT&T. Unlike traditional smartwatches, this watch does not require a smartphone or other device to function. The watch comes with its own SIM card enabling users to send text, emails, surf the web, and even make and receive phone calls. You know, I think that watch might have a little bit of a one-up on either of you ours in the technology You know what, yes, I, I think you're right. I definitely think you're right. So, but I also only spend about $10 on my watch because I tend to lose them and break them. So I know what you mean. And I couldn't imagine, you know, talking, you know, but, you know, if you're going on a run and you're exercising, I think that's pretty useful, actually. I feel like I would feel like, like a secret agent, like, talking into my watch. Maybe that's why he did it. We'll keep your secret, buddy. We promise. Thank you for watching WHEI News Center 10 Live at 5. Our program tonight was produced and presented by the Department of Communication and Media from inside the Media Communication Center at Heidelberg City. Thank you for joining us for tonight's program and be sure to tune in next Wednesday at 5 p.m. for our next broadcast. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Stacy. And for Allie, Margaret, and all the WHEI production crew, we'll see you next time. <laughs>